what I do is dive into the dumpster. But other people consider dumpster diving, driving through neighborhoods, getting stuff like scrap metal or random clothes, some of that, you know. Dumpster diving is just a pretty fun hobby to do. Why leave it in a dumpster to just, I guess, let it be thrown in a landfill when if somebody else needs it, you know, you can give it to them and I guess in a way it helps them save money too. Sawdust. <laughs> oh. <laughs> after I went with him the first time, I pretty much had a lot of fun, and after that, I just started going with him. I used to work at a shopping center, and I was maintenance, so I had to drive around and pick up trash and you know paint stuff. So I spent a lot of times around dumpsters, painting poles, and picking up trash around the dumpsters. And uh, I just I was curious, so I would pick stuff up and put it in the dumpster, and I'd see what was in the dumpster. And then sometimes I saw this stuff, and I was like, Why is that in here? It's perfectly fine. And so one day after work, I just went out there, got it, and it worked fine. So I just started going back and picking up stuff. It's considered stealing. It's as if I uh, broke in and stole the stuff. My mom and dad don't really like it because they don't want me getting in trouble. I think in a way they like the fact that we get to bring some stuff home. I'll start with uh, one store. Like if I find something at Burlington Coke Factory, I'll look at other Burlingtons in the area. From there, I'll look on the map, find out how to get there, go there, check it out, and uh, see if it's worth my time to go back. Right before we start pulling up to the dumpster, um, we'll decide like who's going to jump in. If there's stuff, then we'll decide what we're going to do from there. Just get a lot of communication before we get to the dumpster just to make it quicker. The only thing broken is right there. It's weird. We had cops come one time, but me and my cousin hid. Like she hid behind the dumpster, and I actually dived under trash and started covering myself with with trash. And we just waited. We heard a car drive away, but then we were both too scared to check. <laughs> and uh, so she eventually checked, and uh, it was clear. So we got the stuff, and we just took off. <laughs> we found a pretty cool, nice, fancy desk. That was pretty nice. It's actually the one right behind me. But <laughs> yeah, everything here except for the computer and the printer and the mouse was all from dumpster diving. So like the speakers, the uh, the trash can I have in there. <laughs> I have a stapler. I have a staple remover. I have a whole lot of staples, but I'm not gonna use any of this. <laughs> With uh, my logo maker, <laughs> my design and prints. <laughs> I really don't know what to do with some of this stuff. But it seems so useful. I, th I, think, I think I just can't throw it away. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anywhere from like, you know, just box of staples to complete computer desks, um, floor mats. Most of the time I keep it, sometimes I'll put it on eBay or Craigslist and I'll, I'll resell it. Anything they sell in the store, you could find in the dumpster. Like I got, I got watches and sunglasses, all kinds of stuff. All that necklaces. I separated them all so they wouldn't get stuck together. <laughs> You're from Burlington? Uh, yeah. All this is from Burlington. So got all kinds of sunglasses that, like female sunglasses, but I don't know who would wear these. I don't like them. <laughs> like this watch and other watches. They just put the oddest reasons why they throw things away. Like this is the top and the bottom of the packaging is missing but it has all the pens. I found four cameras uh, really? three nights ago. They took the time to take the cameras out of the box, break the lens and the LCD oh. screen, and put it back in the box. <laughs> like, it looked like they, they repackaged it after they broke it. Yeah. 
the mattress is cut right there. Oh. That's it. Like this one too, it's it's torn right here. Right there. But then some of them they cut. They're like, screw it, I'm cutting that. But they only cut one side. So yeah. anybody that has a kid, they're just gonna be like, screw it, I'll use the other side to put the baby on. And it's missing the hinge to hold the the top open and like uh, the wooden dowels. So I was gonna call to get them to give me those parts. Nice. And you can get those parts free. free? Yeah. Oh, you don't even need a receipt or anything? I don't know. This is a diff I've never got anything from this company, but they said they, they offer replacement parts. And so it's, if it's missing anything, don't return it to the store. And I'm just gonna tell them I bought it and it was missing. You know that no one ever goes Keep it in a sock and let your voice dance closed I need a knack for keeping out of trouble You know how it can go about it because it's a way of recycling and just it's not really as bad as people make it out to be. I go caving, I go bowling, skating, but it's pretty much it's just a little bit of time and it's all free. They say nothing in the world is free but that feels like it's pretty much free you know it's like free is always better.